Hello, hello! My name is Callista, and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. In the last episode, we entered Avernus's tower. It seems that after the siege, Avernus stayed here. He did some kind of magical experimentation on the remaining Grey Wardens that were under his command. We're, uh, we're choosing not to drink the creepy potion. And uh, speak of the devil, seems Sophia was still here. Why wouldn't Avernus be? I hear you. Don't disrupt my concentration. Even now the demons seek to replenish their numbers. Are you to thank for this welcomed but temporary imbalance? The old warden mage? You're still alive? How do I know you're not possessed? I know your crimes, Avernus. You're a monster. Um, hmm. If he were possessed, I... So we, we don't know what Sophia wanted us to do. I was going to say, we, we never actually asked what her deal was. So Artin doesn't know that um, Sophia, Demon Sophia and Avernus had beef. Ooh. Even now the demons seek to replenish their numbers. Are you to thank for this welcome but temporary imbalance? Yeah, that, that implies that he's fighting the demons. So if, if he were possessed, then I don't think he'd be fighting the demons. The Old Warden Mage? You're still alive? Only just. I have only a short time left. Why are you here? What is your intent? I want some answers. I'm debating whether I should let you live. We seek your experiments. No, I've seen your experiments. Soldier's Peak must, must be rid of its plague of demons. I'm here to recover the Grey Warden. But yeah, that is why Artin is here. She wants the Grey Warden base back. I'm here to recover the Grey Warden's base. Hmm. An admirable goal. But in order to achieve this, the demons must be cut off forever. I want some answers. I'm debating whether I should let you live. I've seen your experiments. Soldier's Pete must be rid of its plague of demons. Okay. I want some answers. To what questions, I wonder? Ask. The time for questions is over. How have you survived these many years? Tell me what happened here. Sophia's great-great-grandson uh, brought me here. Levy, go ahead. What was the purpose of your experiments? How have you survived these many years? The Chantry foolishly forbids blood magic. But there are so many secrets to uncover. As my body decayed, I found ways to extend it. But that can only go so far. Sophia's great-grandson brought me here. Sorry, I stuttered over that. Sophia's great-grandson brought me here. Levy, go ahead. Master Mage, uh, sir, my family name has been worth less than dirt for over a century. Do you have any proof that Sophia was a hero? The boy who braved the mists. So you heeded my call. Ha 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 ha, and you are a Dryden. The Cosmos has a sense of humor. The time for questions is over. Your call, just answer Levy's question. I want to ask about something else. So this little exchange doesn't happen if you don't ask Levy how he knew the route to Soldier's Peak. If you avoid that question, this this little bit of exchange, basically this bit, the, the boy who heeded the mists, you answered my call. He doesn't say that. He just kind of goes into your grandmother was a hero, blah, blah, blah. Your call? He was but a boy when he entered the tunnels below the peak. His heart pure, his character certain. In dreams, I gave him the keys he would need. He would be my deliverance. Just answer Levy's question. Your great-great-grandmother was the best of us. Brave, charismatic, fiery, utterly devoted to the fight. But still we lost. 
We fought against a tyrant, you know, so full of vigor then, so blind to consequence. But proof? There's none to be had. I'm sorry, Levy. Uh, I had hoped. But thank you, Warden. Yeah, if if you never ask Levy about how he knew about the tunnels, you never get... Levy never tells you, oh, I, I saw it in dreams, and as such, the game never triggers the, the cutscene where basically Averna says, I was the one giving you those dreams. That's totally not creepy. Ha ha ha. Tell me about what happened here. What use would storytelling serve? The tyrant Arland is long dead, as is all our noble co-conspirators and the Grand Rebellion. Sophia's corpse may walk and talk, but she too is no more. Uh, yeah, she's she's not walking and talking anymore. How was Arland a tyrant? What happened to the Rebellion? You had to know that summoning so many demons was foolhardy. Why did you leave the Wardens to die? How was Arland a tyrant? He ruled with fear and poison, his treachery pit noble against noble in terrible battle. We thought him a monster. We gathered allies to rebel. But the toll of years has erased our failure, hasn't it? It seemed so pressing then, but the kingdom lives on. What happened to the rebellion? Too many mouths to quiet. Even sorcery can only go so far. So we met with Tyrn Kuzland. With him on our side, we had a chance of victory. Instead, the King's Guard ambushed us. Commander Dryden and I barely escaped. You practiced blood magic on the nobles? Oof. Oh dear. You practiced blood magic on the nobles? Of course, to nudge people to keep our secrets safe. Sophia should have let me nudge harder. Her scruples were her undoing. Why did you leave the Wardens to die? I had considered the possibility of failure. But so many demons breaking free was more catastrophic than I had postulated. But my course was clear. I had to get to safety to contain the demonic threat. I took only those who would not impede my goal. You had to know that summoning so many demons was foolhardy. Perhaps, but it was survival. For months, I prepared the summoning circles, researched the darkest depths of the Fade. That moment was a triumph of demonic law. Dozens of demons called by my hand. But with so many variables, I suppose, calculation errors were inevitable. Ugh. I was so close. Persuade, you're to blame for all of this. Some things you just don't do. Commander Pr C Commander Pryden, Commander Dryden knew of the demons. You sound so proud of your actions. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So Artin doesn't from a moral perspective, she's really like, I don't see anything wrong with the demon summoning. As long as he was using his own blood or that of a willing sacrifice, really don't care. Like, let, let them summon demons. It's the fact that he summoned loads of demons at once, thus tearing the veil open. That's where she's like, because now more demons can just come through at will. You're to blame for all this. Some things you just don't do. From a warden, that means something. So tired, so old. Let me undo my greatest of mistakes. Let me cleanse this place. Then, then I will accept whatever justice you feel I merit. I would also like to add that that line I've been I've been saying this throughout this DLC I'm sorry I'm sorry but I'm gonna keep saying it the Grey Wardens aren't heroes because there are some things that heroes won't do Grey Wardens are willing to do anything hence why they are grey they are neutral they're not good they're not bad they're the people who are willing to make the tough choices 
And so that line, you know, like there are some things you don't do from a warden. That means something. I love that line so much. Commander Dryden knew of the demons? She gave the order. I would have summoned the demons anyway. Only under wardens can true magical research continue. A chance to rediscover the secrets of ancient Tevinter. Mm. Oh. You do remember how that ended, the Black City, Darkspawn? Here's the thing, Artin doesn't believe that story to be true. I've said, I've mentioned this before, the, the Chantry has this whole, and then the Magisters entered the Black City, and they came back as Darkspawn, and that's how Darkspawn were born. But Artin, as a dwarf, she's like, that's bullshit. The Darkspawn came from below the ground. I don't know where you got that story from, but w this is where we, what we know, and considering we fight them every day, I think we probably know better, so I don't think she'd even ask that, because you, you want to study the secrets of ancient Tevinta, go ahead, because in Artin's mind, the Tevintas didn't create the Darkspawn. The Darkspawn come from below the ground. I want to ask about something else. Yes? What was the purpose of your experiments? To stop the demonic tide, to correct the miscalculations of the past. Blood magic comes from demons. They could counter every bit of law I knew. But the darkspawn taint, that is alien to them. And it has power. What power? The Wardens use it merely to sense Darkspawn, a triviality. My research has discovered so much more, hinted at even greater heights. This knowledge could not only save Soldier's Peak, with it the Wardens could grow even more powerful. The time for questions is over. Only a monster would sacrifice his fellow Wardens. Can you teach me what you've learned? I want to ask about something else. N no, well, not number four, because we've asked everything. Not number three, because this is... One, Artin isn't a mage. Two, how do I put this? And not number two either, because Artin isn't disgusted with Avernus because he sacrificed Grey Wardens. Artin is disgusted with Avernus because he sacrificed men and women under his command unnecessarily. Admittedly, he would probably argue, no, it was necessary because I needed to extend my life because I'm the only one who can repair the tear in the veil and yada, yada, yada. But from Artin's perspective, this guy just wanted to extend his life. Surely another mage. Surely we could have gotten the circle in and they could have sealed up the tear. So this guy just wanted to extend his life because he didn't want to die. And he sacrificed men and women under his command to do so. And that's why she's disgusted with him. So number two, if that were worded a little bit differently, only a monster would sacrifice the people he was meant to lead. She'd be going with that, but only a monster would sacrifice his fellow wardens. Artin, Artin respects the wardens, but she's not... The wardens are everything. We love the wardens. They are descending, ascending to heaven. Like, she's, she's not like that. She's not that way inclined. So yeah, I guess that leaves me with um, number one. The time for questions is over. So be it. My only request, if justice or vengeance drive you, stay your hand until the demons are dealt with. Until the demons are dead, we are allies. The demons must be stopped now. Until the demons are dead, we are allies. That will do for now. We must go to the Great Hall. There, I will repair the damage I caused so long ago. 
There will be peril. The demons will fight us every step of the way. Come. In a minute, I've got stuff to look at in here. Okay, so we have the crate, the corpse. Um. Okay, let's let's have a look. See. Hmm. So just there doesn't really seem to be much in here. Like aside from his lab work. And these oh god, these weird torture pits. I, I have no idea what the purpose of them is. And a corpse. Ha! On Astorian's Might. The History of Soldier's Peak, Chapter 4. There was one mystery, however, that persisted. And this mystery perplexed even Commander Hulwick herself. When Commander Astorian went to his calling in the Deep Roads, he did not have in his hand his sword, Astorian's might, forged for him by dwarven smiths and presented to him upon the completion of Soldier's Peak. Nor did he pass the sword on to his successor or to any other Grey Warden. While some maintained that Astorian had simply destroyed the sword in his dotage, others believed he had, its, he had stashed it away somewhere in Soldier's Peak. One young warden claimed that Astorian had once grabbed him by the shoulders, fixed him with an unwavering gaze, and said, The sword will remind you what it is to be a warden. Speak your oath to me when the shadows come. You must speak the words. What this was supposed to mean was never made clear. From the History of Grey Wardens in Ferelden by Brother Genitivi, Chantry Scholar. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all we have left in here. Yeah, we I'm I'm not touching that potion. It's weird magical shit. Artin Artin does not want that stuff in her body. Now then, are we going to have another fight on the bridge? We are not. However, before I enter here, I am going to put in a save. Because I I mentioned before that there are some parts of this DLC that really like to bug out. And this next sequence is one of them. If you are playing along, please heed my warning. Please. I'm not entirely sure because I've got, I've got Quinn's Fix Pack. That might have fixed this problem. I would highly recommend Quinn's Fix Pack, by the way. However, what can happen is that when you get to the ritual room... Uh, uh, what is it? What is it? Um, Avernus, he kind of looks at you and is like, let me do the thing. I, and what he has to do is he has to stand on the four nexus points and he'll walk up to the nexus point and he won't get on it. And then you can't complete the quest because you're just kind of stuck there forever. So I am going to put in a quick save right here. Just in case. Because I do not want to have to do all of this again. Come on, Avernus. In you go. Please, please don't get stuck, buddy. Please don't get stuck. Now, that there are a couple of ways you can fix it. You can, um... Oh. We must act quickly. The demons are clawing on the gates. The veil must be closed. What do I do? I'm ready when you are. What do I do? I will unravel the summoning circles I drew so long ago. Waves of spirits and demons may come through. Dispatch them. I will begin. First, I must summon the magical energies. I feel them. They're coming. So I'm gonna run, run everyone over here. Yes, okay. So what I was going to say is either you will need to change your um, screen resolution or run over this way, over to this corner. Effectively, what happens is when you're all stood around this point, Avernus will kind of walk and he'll just stand there. And I think it's that he kind of gets stuck on your pathing or something and he'll just stand there indefinitely. So like I said, I would recommend running. Just run over there. And, like I said, for me, sorted it right out. Alright, matey. 
speed. Come on, there we go. Now you're down. Is there another one? Levy. Levy, you might want to run and hide in a corner. There we go. There we go. He's going to the next one. Excellent. Excuse me. Uh, you next, I think. How's everyone doing? Doing fine, that's good. Everyone, everyone over here. Again, we don't want to, we don't want to be fucking around with the Vernus's pathfinding. Here we go, uh, you. I think. And, oh dear, oh Nelly. Um, that, we're fine, we're fine. Oh no, no I'm not fine. What's happening? Okay, this guy is almost dead, but he keeps pushing me back. There we go. And you. Kick the demon. Come on, Avernus. One left. There we go. You can get... Oh, dear. Don't know what happened just then, but... Oh. Excuse me, madam. Where are you going? Of course you'd go after Morrigan. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Are you okay? I think you're fine. I think you're fine. Where shall I try? Sweet. Kick out. You cannot win. There we go. Okay. There we go. Um, I can't remember if this kicks us out of the castle or not. I don't think it does. I don't think it does. It's over. The veil is strong now. Stronger, at least. I said I'd submit to judgment. And so I shall. Can I be left to experiment in peace? Kill him. For your crimes, death is the only verdict. You must atone. Research, research ways to help wardens ethically. Your punishment is to live with what you've done. I cast you out of the wardens. Leave here and don't return. I won't be your judge. This guy said that he didn't have long left to live. Hmm. Not number three. Number three seems kind of moot. Not number five. And I feel like number casting him out, that... This guy has lived a long time and he's clearly very intelligent. We could set him to doing magical research. He doesn't have that much long left so that he can get his notes in order and he can pass that along to maybe the Grey Wardens at Weishaupt or, you know, so somewhere like that. And, like, he was trying to stop the spread of the, uh, the... the calling. I think... I don't think Artin wants to die of the calling. I don't I don't really think she wants that. I don't think she'd be like, let's experiment on each other. But this guy clearly slowed it down. So I see no reason to use him as long as we're not letting him murder. Again, as long as we're not giving him, these are your researchers. And then you turn away from it, it turn back and he's got a bloody knife and the researchers are all dead. And he's just like, oops. Like, Avernus, wah, wah. Like, as long as he's doing it ethically, I see no reason why we shouldn't put this man to work for the last month or year of his life. You must atone. Research ways to help wardens. Ethically. With what time I have left, 
I will do this. It may take months or years for my research to reach fruition. When it does, I will send for you. Thank you for this, Warden. You've done it, Warden. Soldier's Peak is safe again. That old geezer of Vernus deserves the gallows, if you ask me, but people will do queer things to survive. But if he does the proper research, without the sacrifices and blood magic and all, maybe he'll turn up something good. But there was no proof to redeem my family. Even if you had proof, Sophia's actions were damning. The past won't offer redemption. Try the future instead. Your grandmother I'm not sure about, but you're a good man. Stop your belly aching. Yeah, from from the stuff I've read, Sophia wasn't that great. She kind of had a... She tried to get the throne, lost, you know, I'm not giving up my claim, I'm gonna fight it. Uh, got recruited into the Grey Wardens, then had another, I can't believe I'm not a lady anymore. Uh, and then decided, you know what? I'm going to rise through the ranks. I'm going to accept my life as a Grey Warden. And then I'm going to have a rebellion. Like, Sophia Dryden seems like a bit of a bitch, to be perfectly honest. But Levy, aside from lying about, you know, getting a map from his dreams, Levy seems like a decent bloke. Your grandmother, I'm not sure about. But you're a good man. Well, I, uh, thanks, Warden. For so long, I was focused on the past, on answers. But I think I would have been better off had I stayed at home. Enough of that, though. I find myself at a loss. You've got a whole fortress now. I suppose I should start plying my trade again. What? Where will you go? Soldier's Peak seems like a lonely place. Any chance I could convince you to stay on? It was a pleasure, Levy. Farewell. Where will you go? I might use the peak as a base of operations. So many bandits about, but none would dare come here. Nice place to store trade goods. You, of course, will get a sizable discount. Looks like we're done here. A demonic invasion thwarted, a warden base safely rescued. We do good work. That we do, Alistair. That we absolutely do. And we didn't get kicked out of the base. That is excellent. Now then, Astorian's portrait. You found an old painting, one dating back to Commander Astorian's times. Perhaps Astorian's history points to this. Recite the Grey Warden Oath. And what have we here? Astorian's might. Excellent. Ooh, and it's a lot better than what we have. Uh, heavy chainmail boots. The shadow belt. Ooh, that will be very nice for us, Evron. Master hail rune and some gold. Excellent. Now, I'm pretty sure that's actually all of the quests for um, Soldier's Peak. It is. Excellent. Okay, we can we can leave. I'm I'm happy leaving. I, I like this quest line. I I think this is a good DLC. You ever gonna get up? Nope, nope. I'm I'm happy not to fight you. Now then, the next time we come back to this place. Also, I I would just say once you exit the map. So like right now, I can still go back in, but once you exit the map. Levy will have cleaned up everything inside and you won't be able to get into the keep again. So anything, any codex entries you've missed, like say for example, you miss the statue out there and so you never get the chance at Astorian stash. If you get that statue and then leave, you will not be able to re-enter. So make sure you get that sword before leaving. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy to leave. I mentioned that uh, we were gonna head to Denerim. Admittedly, I am, I'm, I've only got a minute left on this recording. So I don't think I'm gonna have time to actually do anything in Denerim, but I'm, I'm gonna head there. Just so at the start of next episode, we'll be able to jump straight in. Unless of course we get stopped on the way. There we go.
You wanna load? You doing okay? Oh no. Computer? Hey, there we go. Excellent. Okay, yeah, so I, I'm gonna leave it there for this episode. In the next, we will be finally getting to Alistair's companion quest. We're gonna help him see his sister. But until then, please remember to like if you enjoyed, leave a comment below. And if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.